I had some relatively bad luck with home routers with uh, short lifespans, and so I concluded it was probably from overheating. I let them run all, all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and rarely turn it off. And uh, so rather than air condition the room all the time, I tried to come up with some idea that would uh, keep the air moving through this, uh, even when uh, on hot days when the air wasn't moving very much by itself. So anyway, my solution was uh, was what you see in front of you. Uh, this is just uh, one of the several uh, home routers I've owned. But let's start on the tour on the back side. Uh, down here, it's hard to see, but down here is a uh, plug I got from Radio Shack. This uh, wire coming in, the black wire coming in, is the original power supply from the router. And it goes into the box and then another wire comes out and plugs directly into the back of the router for the 12-volt uh, power. And I'll show you underneath here what's going on in a second. Um, I the router, and as you can see, what we have here is uh, just, this is a wooden box I bought from a, an electrical supply store. They sell things like plugs and circuit breakers and wire and so on. A uh, cheap little box. I drilled a bunch of holes in it. The size of these holes, if you add them all up, should equal a little bit bigger than this, ideally. Uh, this hole, as you can see down there, there's a little tiny pie fan. And it is now blowing air up towards this as, uh, as we look at this. And over here is a piece of foam to help channel the air. On this side, I chose not to put any foam in case the fan fails. It'll at least allow a little bit of circulation in there. Okay, and then this is screwed to the top of the box underneath here. Uh, it's the working part. Um, you can see over here there's the little pipe fan spinning around happily as we're, as we're filming this. And what happens is the electricity comes in from here, the original power supply. One set of leads takes it right back out and over to the router. So that's just uninterrupted 12 volt uh, to the router. Nothing special about that. And the other set of wires, which is a little bit more difficult to see, is this very fine wire right in here, another wire down here, and it goes to a 7809, which is a voltage regulating device. And yes, it is 9 volt, not 12 volt, because I wanted to run the fan a little bit more slowly than full power. It helps keep it quieter. Uh, you do want to check to make sure your fan does not overheat if you use uh, something that's not to spec. Uh, if it's a 12 volt fan, you use a a 9 volt, they can get a little bit warm, so check on that. But anyhow, that's, that's uh, the 9 volt supply goes around here and back to the fan. And that's pretty much it. And we'll reassemble it here quickly. And that's it. Uh, I've had good luck. Uh, this one has lasted a lot longer than the others I've had in the past, so I attribute uh, that partially to the, uh, the good brand and then the other part to uh, having cooling air flowing to it 24 hours a day. Anyway, I hope this was useful.